good Sunday morning. It is time for Bonehead Truckers Weekend Edition. And we've got a special theme for all you flip-flop wearers out there. Directly, especially to you guys. If you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And hit that like button. I have a feeling that you real truckers will like it. Before we get started, though, guys, DAT, man, if you guys are looking for a load board, I got a free month. If you click the special link down there in the description below, I can get you a free month with DAT load board, okay? Go check them out, okay? First month free, no obligation. There you go, all right? Go get you, save you a little bit of money. All right, first off, we got this fella. Notice how this guy is at a shipper, okay, or a receiver, what have you. And then watch what, whoop. Uh oh, look at there, he's got his flip-flops on with his socks. Now, but he's looking at the ground. What you should be doing is looking at your feet. Because if you were, wore some shoes, that probably wouldn't have happened, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, wearing flip-flops is pretty dangerous, okay? They just are out there. Not only are they not professional, it's just dangerous. Anyway, like this guy right here, he's a real professional. Watch this guy, drives from Melton. Melton Truck Lines. You guys should be proud of your drivers, especially this one. Look at him. He got his shorty shorts on. He ain't got no PPE, but he's got his flip-flops on. Waiting for something to happen. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, you know, we got this guy. At least he's got some blue jeans on. He's got some britches on. But he got those, he got those flip-flops on. All right, he ain't going to the shower. He's not on a vacation. He's just not. He's just over here being unprofessional. All right. Hey, listen, you guys be sitting there saying, Ah, oh, ah, uh, you got a foot fetish. No, I ain't got a foot fetish. All right. I mean, I don't hate your feet. I, I just don't. I don't want to see your toe fungus. Okay? No one else does either. No one else does either. You want to sit there and talk about, oh, I think people should respect us more. But you don't respect yourself by wearing some shoes when you're going to go see a customer. All right? Yeah, I mean, what if you went for a job interview and the job interviewer was, was wearing flip-flops, okay, tank top and some shorty shorts, okay, and you expect him to pay you well? <laughs> and treat you with respect. Yeah, that ain't happening. And then this guy right here, I had to speed this up. This is long. This guy is at the Iowa 80 in Walcott, Iowa. Drops his trailer. Okay, right there at the entrance, not doing a pre trip. Okay, because that's part of your pre trip, right? Just getting out and checking your fifth wheel. But obviously, he's got his flip-flops on. Go figure. Go figure that this guy, you know, don't take his job seriously enough. You said, well, he's at, a, he's at a truck stop. Really? It looks like he was trying to leave the truck stop. Trying to do a pre-trip. Okay. All right. That, that's perfect work attire, I guess. But like you said, some of you guys sit there and say, uh, you got a foot fetish. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what someone else is wearing. Just worry about yourself. But that's not the reason why you're subscribed to this channel and you don't watch this channel. You watch this channel to sit there and look and laugh at the dumb stuff. Man, I tell you what, man. Let me tell you guys a story. All right, about the old time. Here comes another guy wearing flip-flops. Let me tell you about the old timers right there, out there, okay? They sit there and said, hey, you guys shouldn't be wearing sandals, should be wearing, you know, a uniform and all that kind of stuff. That's what the old time. listen, I've been in the industry for 20 years. 
I ain't into, I, listen, if you wear shorts, that's fine. As long as they're clean and they're professional looking. I, I don't really like the basketball shorts or the little shorty shorts or whatever. I don't wear the tank tops out there, you know, at a ship or a receiver. Now listen, if it's on your day off, if you're going to go take a shower or whatever, if you're at a tr inside a truck stop, you know, you're just inside getting you something. All right, and you're taking a 10-hour break or a 34. I ain't against that. But when you're at work, what is something work-worthy? All right, work-worthy. I'm just saying. Every other profession, even if it's not a profession, every other occupation, let me just put it to you that way. All right. And this guy's fully clothed. Look at him. Uh... Every other occupation out there, they have, you, know, you got to wear closed toe shoes, okay? Look, even that lady right there, she's even, listen, I, you know, my wife, when she's out there with me on the road, she'd wear flip-flops. She's not a truck driver, though. I'll say that. She, just, she was just a rider. That lady, she got herself some shoes on. But these old so-called fellers, these men so-called, ain't got no shoes on. Mm. I'm telling you guys, listen. We're going to start up this revolution where we're going to get rid of flip-flops in this industry. Alright? But, but, but again, if you're going on vacation, if you're going on, uh, if you're going to the shower... If you're, if you're on your break, wear what you want to, okay? Wear what you want to. People send me videos all the time of someone in a truck stop with flip-flops, and I don't put them on, except when they're doing dumb stuff like this. All right? If they're a shipper or a receiver, or they just got done doing their pre-trip, supposedly a pre-trip, you know. You know how that goes. I mean, it's obvious this guy didn't do a pre-trip. All right, and if he did, <laughs> I mean, he did it wrong because now you're having to crank it, a crank of shame. Here's another idiot. Now, again, this guy may be on his break, so, I mean, just it is what it is. But we're going to start up a revolution. That's just what we're going to do right here on Bonehead Truckers. All right, we're going to start selling some flip-flops. All right, and it's going to say Bonehead Truckers written on the top of them. That way we know it is a constant reminder. Only Bonehead Truckers wear these to shippers and receivers. All right, I'm just saying, folks, I'm just saying. Guys, we got to we got to we got to bring professionalism back and that's what we're doing. That's our mission. For years and years and years that's been our mission. Bring professionalism back to the trucking industry. Guys, if you want to support that mission, you can buy some shirts right there. All right, real truckers don't wear flip-flops. Shame on the mess. And guys, if you got videos you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com or join our Facebook group, Say No to Bonehead Truckers. Guys, May the 3rd is coming up. May the 3rd, and you're going to want to be here on this channel because I'm going to be live and we're going to celebrate my birthday right here at Live. We're going to have a good time, all right? We'll see you guys then. May the 3rd. After all this time, you're still not at TRC Frank. I, I, I don't know what's taking you. So. These guys offer medical benefits these days. Can you believe that? Medical benefits. Who else is going to do that? Your owner operators out there looking to book your own loads full transparency go check them out guys medical benefits being an owner operator for more information go to trcandme.com because hey you owe it to yourself and you may just daggum sing you a friggin song check out trc freight okay if you don't well shame on the mess